My name is Dr. Graham Evans. I'm the new Chief Digital Officer for the emerging Northeast and North Cumbrian Integrated Care System. Part of my new role will be to develop a digital strategy for the region, focusing on how we can use technology for the benefits of the patients and citizens that we serve. One of the jewels in the crown of our new strategy will be the delivery of a new Digital Imaging for Pathology programme. This is a transformative and innovative programme of work that will demonstrate how new technologies can be used in a joined up and collaborative way for the benefits of our patients but also for the benefits of the clinicians that need to utilise this new platform and service. Digital Imaging for Pathology builds on work that we developed many years ago around picture archiving and communications within radiology. And what it will do as we move forward, it will deliver more fast, more responsive and more joined up care provision for our region. It will make the work that our clinicians need to undertake more effective and more efficient and ultimately the key beneficiaries will be the patients that we serve. The Cancer Alliance has for some time been concerned about the impact that shortages in the diagnostic workforce will have on cancer care. Data suggests that the current vacancy factor of 10% will worsen largely due to retirement outstripping training of new recruits unless urgent action is taken. Digital pathology in tandem with a more collaborative approach to reporting will transform the way in which we will match variations in local demand with capacity delivered by teams of pathologists in the various laboratories in the network. This will allow pathologists to maintain their valued contact with clinicians at their trusts for example at multidisciplinary team meetings. Firstly, there is no requirement for loading and unloading the slides on and off the stage. Previous tracking with barcodes ensures that the slide images match the patient request form as both of them can be brought up on screen simultaneously, preventing any potential patient or slide misidentification, ensuring patient safety. As far as the screen view is concerned, it's a panoramic view rather than a tunnel view and this gives you a much better image and quality. So split screen images allows for easier slide comparisons, especially synchronous slide analysis with a colleague who can potentially be sat at a remote site in consultation with you. Frozen sections and second opinions can be delivered quite easily. The selection of cases, in fact the selection collection and presentation of cases for MDTs can be easily facilitated. It is less of a cumbersome task as the MDT cases can be dropped into the MDT list that can be created digitally as and when one diagnoses the case. In fact, I have just received a file full of cases from James Cook for the regional thyroid MDT and one shall be seeing less of this physical transfer of slides as we go digital preventing any slide loss or damage in transit. MDT turnaround times would be significantly reduced and patient experience improved by quicker shared decision making. I just didn't believe that um, lots of slides can be actually sent around the region and as we can understand a glass slide has fragility, um, has to be managed um, and with digital pathology, um, you actually will just send electronically the equivalent, a picture of that slide. Um, and its accuracy is at least as good as the slide. The important thing is also then getting the analysis of the information that's on the slide. And somebody who's waiting after they've had various tests for some sort of information that helps them on their forward journey it's imperative that they actually get that information as quickly as possible. So across Cumbria and the North East, this digital pathology system has the opportunity to bring huge benefits to the way that we provide care to our patients. What it means is that pathologists can work together in clinical networks to rapidly report um, the, the slides that they obtain from their pathology systems. It means that the diagnosis will be made quicker in real time in that context. It means that patients can have a specialist opinion across the region much more quickly. So in the sense that no longer will we be transferring slides, we'll be transferring images in real time, which means that the pathologist can work flexibly to actually give that specialist opinion in a much, much quicker way. 
Currently, glass slide production is a batch-driven process with batch-driven reporting by consultants. Digital microscopy allows a move away from a push-driven workflow to a pull system and offers flexible working for consultants. Digital imaging can assist teaching and training. The trainee can annotate the slides and review the cases alongside the consultant and a more direct feedback can be provided. In terms of education purposes, previous material can be quite easily archived and the trainee can review the slides quite rapidly. Sectra have a mission. That mission is to improve the effectiveness of healthcare. We firmly believe that we have found a partner in the North East of England and North Cumbria Cancer Alliance that identifies with and shares our vision. Through improved workflows and centralised deployment of services, the Sectra solution will alleviate some of the critical problems presented by the shortage of pathologists. The system will also vastly improve the experience for the patient in terms of better access to subspecialists and quicker time to diagnosis. These benefits extend beyond the traditional boundaries, serving up the reports and images to the doctors on the front line of patient care in a way that has not been seen before. This is crucial at a time when anxiety is high and speed is of the essence. This will help to revolutionise the diagnostic process across the region and we are very proud to be on this journey with our new partners. Sectra, our partners in this innovative project, will provide support in training colleagues in how to use the system although many of us have already used digital scopes in EQA schemes and to view interesting cases. Following the training, a short validation period will be required to ensure what we've seen and reported digitally is accurate using the glass slides as a reference. If you are keen to get involved, then please contact your local lead, me or Shanali. This is the biggest change to our profession in a generation.